launched a new division called Experiences. Travelers can book a stay that comes with a local experience, like surfing with Adventure Man in LA, finding Zen in San Francisco, or learning from a samurai artist in Tokyo. I think one of the things you and others have found is that especially younger customers are seeking these experiences. Yes. They don't want to accumulate things as much as life experiences. How did you tap into that? I think there was this shift that happened where when I was a kid, the American dream was to have like a nice house and cool car. I think the rise of social media changed it because suddenly people started valuing experiences more. A new experience launching this month in New York, a partnership with an urban farm called Harlem Grown. Rent a room and spend a day helping out. Have you seen your research, Brian, that customers want more of this kind of experience? They don't want to just see the Eiffel Tower or they, like, they don't want to see the Statue of Liberty. They want to meet people like Tony. And then you leave and the memories you have are of people. What do the next 10 years look like for Airbnb? And I think where this is going is it's not going to be just a place to stay. We are going to design the end-to-end -end trip for you. Travel is never really about where you go. It's about who you can become and the memories you can make. And I really want us to be in the business of creating these magical experiences, not just a place to stay. Brian's advice for you budding entrepreneurs, he says it's better to have